Hey there, today we're gonna to talk about goals and goal setting for um, your coaching business as well as personally. Um, so I know that as a new coach, it was really scary to make these big goals um, that I was not sure if I was ever going to meet um, or if I was going to be able to reach them or not. Um, and so the first tip that I have for you on goal setting is set your goals big. Um, it seems scary. It seems um, unreachable sometimes maybe, but you know, you're not going to get there unless you set your expectation for yourself high. So the things that scare you, that's okay. Set those goals anyway. Um, goals are going to be so important to your coaching business. They're like the roadmap, um, you know, for you. So when you get in the car to go somewhere, you're not, you know, if you've never been there before, you need a map. Um, you need a way to get there. So think of your goals as your roadmap, your way that you're going to, um, you know, get to where you want to be in your coaching business or personally. Um, without that roadmap, it's really hard to get there. Um, and so on that note, make them specific. If you are following a map and all it says is get in your car and drive south, um, you're having a hard time getting there, right? So you need to make them specific enough to where um, you'll be able to reach those goals. So start with um, your big picture goals. So your goals for your year. And if you don't start at the beginning of the year, if you don't make these goals in January, that's okay. Um, you know, if you start in June and you haven't made your yearly goals yet, that's okay. Just make them for something that you want to reach by the end of the year. So make those big picture goals first. Um, do something like a dream board, which a lot of us do, or a vision board. Um, but like I said, you know, make them specific. So when I first started coaching, I made them things like, you know, help Help as many people as possible, um, you know, pay off debt. And that's great, um, but you want to make them specific enough to where you're going to be able to set more um, short-term attainable goals. So make them something like help 10 people a month, help five people a month, um, something specific so that you can figure out how to get there, um, you know, those good, clear directions. So instead of just pay down debt, um, set a number, you know, pay down $100 in debt every month, pay, pay down $1,000 in debt every month. And it's going to depend based on what your, you know, big picture goals are. So make those yearly goals first um, and then get a little bit more specific. So um, most of us make monthly goals. So then um, based on your yearly goals, make a monthly goal. So when I sit down to make my goals for the month, I look at what my yearly goals are and then I assign my monthly goals with those. So um, I make, you know, the monthly goals, I write them down. Um, and then I put them somewhere where I can see them all the time. Same with those big picture goals, you know, um, it's great to set goals and they're so important, but if we are just, um, you know, setting those goals and then putting them somewhere in a folder on your computer, um, you know, it's going to be harder to get there. So you want to have them somewhere that you can see them all the time. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be made on a computer. Maybe you write it down on your chalkboard or your dry erase board. Um, and that's fine too. Just put it somewhere where you're going to see it, where you sit down um, to get your work done or where you sit down to do your power hour. You're going to see those goals every single time. Um, so that's so important too. You know, don't just make them and put them away. Make those goals and put them somewhere that you're going to see them and you're going to be motivated to reach them. So for me, I put them, you know, right on my desk behind my uh, laptop screen so that when I open up my laptop and I get ready to start doing my work, I'm looking at my goals constantly and I'm making sure that I'm aligning my activities with my goals. So it's great to set goals, but if you don't ever align the activities that you're doing to reach those goals with your goals, then it's kind of pointless. So Make your big picture goals, put them somewhere. Make your monthly goals, put them somewhere where you're going to see them. Um, mine all kind of go in the same place. And then from there, make even more specific goals. So I make, you know, my monthly goals at the beginning of the month, every month. And I make those specific as well. So, you know, make four videos based on what I learned at Summit. Um, hit SC10 by the 10th. Sponsor four new coaches. So I put them into specific attainable um, things that I can look at and be specific about. And then I break that down by week. So, you know, if my goal is to sponsor four coaches for the month, well, then I can put on my weekly um, goal sheet, sponsor one coach this week. If I know that my goal is to hit Success Club 10 by the 10th, um, and the 10th is going to be next 
Monday, then I need to make sure that I'm selling five challenge packs this week um, or helping five people this week. So um, making those specific and then again, I print them out and I put them right underneath my monthly goals and right somewhere where I can see them. Um, so, you know, it's important to set goals, but it's more important to make sure that your activities align with them and that you're consistent and you're showing up every single day. Um, it's wonderful to set goals and say, I'm going to do this. I want to do this. Um, this sounds like a good thing to do this year, but if you're not looking at those goals and aligning yourself with those goals every single day, when you sit down, um, to do your business activities, then there's really no sense in setting the goals. So make sure that your activities align with that. So for me, that means making a yearly board like we talked about, a monthly goal list like we talked about, and then a weekly goal list based on those monthly goals. Um, so that you can make sure that you're checking those things off and getting those things done. So once I make the weekly sheet, I then go to my daily sheet. Um, and this is just something that I've actually changed in the last week. Um, but you know, whatever your daily goals might look like, that's fine. Um, make sure that they're aligning with your weekly goals, which are aligning with your monthly goals, which are aligning with your yearly goals. Um, so goal setting is so, so important. Um, you know, you want to have a roadmap for where you're going in this business and what you're doing. Um, and set them big, you know, um, if you don't set them big, then you'll never reach them. And if you do reach them, keep going. It's all about showing up every single day and being consistent and just going for it, believing in yourself and knowing that you're going to get there if you set those goals. So um, set those goals big.